Okay, while well, I'm reviewing this footage and uh, editing the video here, I want to show you something here. I'll, now, I'm, I'm thinking now that these are footprints. The more I keep looking at this, I'm pretty sure these are footprints. Because usually when you see something like this in the road like this with the, all the with all the pine needles, it's usually from rain, rain causing that and the water flowing down the road. But there's, there hasn't been any rain here. Um, we were here a week ago and since then it hadn't rained. Yeah, both of and these And these were not here that, that first time we came out a week ago. Footprints. And uh, now they're here, so I'm pretty sure these are actually footprints where actually two different individuals cross the road. I mean, I don't think it is, but it's They look like maybe shape. two different sizes, but I'm pretty sure they're two different individuals that cross the road right here. And this is an area this here where we have found like footprints right in the past. And this there's an animal trail thing. right through here, and we found footprints along it. A trackway. And then that one's kind of got the same shape too. But it also looks like a right foot with the toes up there. This is usually how you'll find them too. You'll find where they stepped in like towards the middle of the road. And then uh, their next step is over in the grass. So you, you can't see or can't hardly find a footprint. So you usually just see the one where they cross the road. Kind of making it look like a footprint. I'm showing you this part right here. Wynette was walking ahead of me she's here, filming. filming. She's filming with the camcorder. So I want to show you this because when I get to the thermal here, you'll see Wynette and where she's at in the road filming with the camcorder. And then I'm going to show you something on the thermal camera that I caught that was really close. The thermal camera's looking foggy though, I'm not seeing it. No. <clears throat> I feel them though, I feel them watching me. Yeah. Which side? The left side. Yeah, As we're walking up this trail here, I can feel them. I can feel them watching us. So I know they're close by. Yeah. Cabbage pond. Yeah. The way I have the thermal camera set up on the tripod with the tri-field meter, the tri-field meter is kind of in the way of to see in the view screen good but I was trying to see what I could and it looked like it was kind of foggy in the in the thermal camera but I still caught something pretty close to us right here so right here these bushes that I just panned past that are real close to me you'll see as I come back to them I pan back to the left and come back to them You'll see it um, start to appear, and it has to be cloaked with it being that close. But the thermal camera is still picking up a little heat signature from it. If you watch really close, you can see its head and its face moving. You can see it's um, got a cone-shaped head and the outline of the body, and you can see its two hands on the bushes here, holding the bushes, looking over. As I pan back around, you can see when that you can see her filming and how close she is to me, how close this was to us.
and then here's some screenshots of him and each one's still different a little bit different you can see his head's moved a little 